In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your phone system to bypass the auto attendant and send calls directly to a mailbox. I get this request a lot, so I'm going to quickly uh, go through the steps to uh, do that. The first thing we need to do is get into system programming at extension 10 or 11. So we go feature 00, then we hit the system program button twice, or your left intercom. And then we need to go into pound 206. And pound 206 would have been set up if you were previously sending calls to your auto attendant. So we need to remove that. So we go into group 7, which is the special group for voicemail. And then we go into 01 for your first line. And here you can see it's assigned and we need to unassign it. So we hit 2. Then we go to the next line. We hit 2 to unassign that. Unassign. And line 4 is not assigned, so we don't need to remove it. Next, we need to go into pound 208. Now, this is the program that assigns a line to follow the coverage of an extension. So, we put in line 1. And here, in this example, we're going to use uh, extension 10's mailbox to answer calls. So, we put in 10. Then we go to the next item. And we put in 10. So, we need to assign all our lines to extension 10. After that, what you want to make sure is to check pound 310, which is automatic VMS cover. It should be assigned, but let's just check it. And that basically will send unanswered calls to uh, extension 10's mailbox. See, it's assigned. If it was unassigned, we'd want to assign it. The next one you want to look at is pound 321, which is VMS cover rings. This is how many rings it'll take before calls are directed to that uh, extension 10's mailbox. So we put in 10 and we see that it's five rings. Now you could change this to four or how many rings you want before calls would be forwarded into that mailbox. So here we're going to put it to five. Now the next thing you want to go over is some of the buttons that we can program on the phone that will affect when these uh, incoming calls will forward into 10's mailbox. So we're going to go into centralized programming so that we can actually program these buttons and we're going to put in 10. Now the first button we're going to program is a do not disturb. And you hit the button, features arrow 1, and we put a do not disturb. Now the do not disturb can be used to send calls directly into 10's mailbox. Uh, so you would probably use this in place of a night service button because the night service button would not trigger this, uh, these calls to go into extension 10's mailbox, so you would use the do not disturb, which will send calls immediately, so you would use that as your night service button. The next one you can program is feature 15, which is VMS cover. This is a button that you can use to turn off the cover of extension 10, so if you do not want to send calls at any point, to extension 10's or the extension that you're using's mailbox when incoming calls are coming in, then you can use this button to do that. And that's basically all that's required. Then once you get out of programming, um, you'll see that the VMS cover button is on, which means that your, your calls are being covered. So if you wanted to turn it off, you could. And then this button here is to do not disturb. And when that's on, that means any calls coming in will immediately get forwarded into extension 10's mailbox.